Sir. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages and sizes and shapes and colors, you inside the GGN News Network with your host with the most, Finding Nemo, a.k.a. Nemo Hoes. That's right, y'all. Got a very special guest, my baby brother from another mother. Shout out to the one and only Peachy Low for bringing this man to this world. My favorite, your favorite, Pittsburgh's finest, Mr. Wiz Khalifa. How you doing, Snoop? What's up, guys? How y'all? Thanks for having right me. Now, man. It's groovy. You feel that groove right it's there? It's so amazing in here right now. Turn up. Yeah, I just wanted to set the tone with you one time, you know, mm -hmm. when I watched those old tapes of, you know, Frank Sinatra and, you know, Hugh Hefner and guys like that, it was always beautiful music like this in the background, and they'd be just sitting there smoking and having a shot of some. Somebody bring me a shot of some red wine with some ice. I'll have mine, too. Yes, sir. Double shot of that. <laughs> and what about that motherfucking, uh, the, the record you got with your whole crew? Oh, yeah, the code. That it's called, shit is yeah. bodyguard hard. Thank you, man. I heard like about seven, eight songs. I was riding with my security, right? I'm in the backseat of this nigga shit. He banging all kind of shit I ain't never heard. I felt like, you know, taking a nigga this. Like, nigga, how the fuck you got it and I ain't got it? See, nah, I need to make sure that you get everything. No, nah, but that's good, though, because, see, that's saying that it's cutting. You know what I'm saying? When yeah. niggas get it before me, that make me feel like, you know what I'm saying, they supposed to have it before me. Yeah, no, nah, that's what's it. up. They hipping me to the dip, which is cool. You know what I'm saying? It's... And it sound good too. It sound like you back on your shit, like you back in the in the zone. Yeah, <laughs> man, I'm cooking. I'm just, I just been like listening to the fans, mm -hmm. listening to people like uh, your son, mm -hmm. um, people who really, you know, just just put me in the in the place where I'm at right now, mm -hmm. and doing what they want me to do. You know what I'm saying? And it's what I'm most comfortable doing anyway. And um, as far as the group goes, man, they just help magnify that. Like, mm -hmm. I just take it to the next level. And, um, you know, I got Juicy, I got Lola, I got Chevy. Chevy's with me all the time. He hard. We just got the cover of the source. Make sure y'all go get that, which is going to be crazy. He hard as fuck. Chevy, yeah, man. That's Chevy, my nigga, man. He that thing, man. He got that shit. He got that do it fluid. Yeah, for real. You go hear a lot more from Chevy. Every, so. Everything I've heard him on, he's been really, like, going bodyguard hard. He ain't been playing with his 16. Thank you, man. You no, know, for real. He's been, he been executing. <laughs> Uh. Mm. Yeah, he's going back for more. His head is telling him, like, <laughs> lay down. <laughs> the guy reaching for it. Like, oh shit, I'm fucked up, but I know I need to get more. I'm <laughs> Because if I grab this 12-pack right here, I'm going to fucking be all the way, all the way. <laughs> He's like, um, what's his name? Weekend at Bernie's. Look at it. When the music this come on. <laughs> you remember that movie when a dude was dead the whole movie? And they was taking him around. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And the, <laughs> had a nigga in the party and on the mm, boat. And on the boat, everything. Look at this. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> Look at his head. How the fuck did he get, <laughs> Is it? How did he get to the store, first of all? Look, oh, fuck. How did the nigga get to the store? Did he walk or drive? Look at the old man over here. <laughs> Shopping. He don't even know what <laughs> madness is going on on the other side of that fucking aisle, dog. <laughs> He's, oh, yeah, he got it. <laughs> Uh -huh. He's like, nah, I'm straight. <laughs> oh, damn. There's something in his head. There's like a magnet or something like pulling him, yo. <laughs> <laughs> like a motherfucker, man. <laughs> oh my god, we gotta find this patrol to that shit at.
Shut the fuck up. Going down right here. Tom Cruise said once upon a time, if he was black, he wanted to be Nemo Hoes. You dig? You bitch you. Nemo Hoes, a.k.a. Finding Nemo. You punk bitch you. Yes, sir. This is what it's going to be. I got real questions for you, too. They got me. Look at this shit. Yes. Who's network? We got a game we're going to play with you, too, nephew. Let's get it. Okay, finish this sentence. If I could work with anybody, I would work with. Um, Dr. Dre. Because mm. I haven't worked with Dre yet. I think that would be ill. Yeah, we need to make that happen. I can make that happen. I know you can. Dr. Dre, nigga. You ready, nigga? <laughs> this nigga Wiz wants some of that do it fluid. Give it to him. Come on, man. You hear me? Finish this sentence. If I could smoke with anybody, I would smoke with you. Uh, Bob Marley. Oh, wow. Yeah. I'm right with you. Yeah, for sure. Ja Rastafari. Mm -hmm. Bob Marley. If I could see anybody perform live, I'd want to see. Uh, James Brown. Mm. Yeah, live. Now, you know what's so crazy about that? James Brown drove to my house because I had a studio called The Church. Mm -hmm. This nigga drove to my house with two CHP police officers, mm. a lawyer, mm. a manager, a white bitch. <laughs> And he came in my house and he sat on my park bench for about three hours with me. Me and this nigga just was chopping up game. And he said, Snoopy, what's the never you do? Don't you ever cut your hair, because your hair is your scrimp. That's hard. When he told me that, I was like, that was the coldest. I just, that's the only shit I remember him saying. I don't that's remember hard. nothing yeah, else yeah. we talked about. <laughs> that nigga was in your house for 10 hours. Then that's all I remember him saying. <laughs> and then he had Bobby with him too, because he said, Bobby? I'm ready to go. And what's never it is, it's got to be funky. <laughs> and uh, last question, who are, your, who are some of your influences, top five, dead or alive? And it don't have to be rap, it could be all kind of music. Top five, dead or alive, um, Snoop Dogg, of course. Uh, Jimi Hendrix. Uh, Big Daddy Kane. Mm. Um, Bone Thugs and Harmony. Mm -hmm. Well, I just say Bob, of course. Yeah, Bob just because of his spirit. Yeah, man. Yeah, you gotta keep Every time. Yeah, all the time. Wisdom, guidance, and protection. Mm hmm. Ja! Rastafari. And that was the Smoker Studio. Finished this sentence with Big Snoop Dogg and Wiz Khalifa. French in I like the way. Church, preach, tabernacle.